Hi there, it's Andrew, and today I would like to teach you how to find the slant asymptote of the following rational function of 24x squared plus 6x divided by 2x plus 1. So we're always going to have a slant asymptote whenever we have a rational function, which is basically saying you have a polynomial function in the numerator and in the denominator, and the highest power of your variable in the numerator, in other words, right here, the 2, is higher than the highest power of x in the denominator which would be a one, okay? You're always gonna have a slant asymptote in that case. Now to find the slant asymptote, it turns out that we need to do uh, synthetic or long division. Now it doesn't matter which one you do uh, for this, but it's probably best to do a, it doesn't really make a difference, but we'll do a, um, a long division. Just because the denominator, long, uh, uh, synthetic division works well when you have a, a power of one in your denominator, but if this becomes x squared, well, the general rules of synthetic division go out the window. So let's just do this with long division. So we're going to set it up. Okay, so now that we have this set up, remember the numerator goes inside of this long division symbol and the denominator goes on the outside. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the coefficient with the highest power of x, so 24x squared of your numerator basically, and you're going to divide then the highest power of x with its coefficient of your uh, denominator. And you're going to divide these two. And what you're going to come up with is you're going to come up with 2 goes into 24 12 times. And x goes into x squared x times, right? So this reduces down to 12x. Now this is, 12x is going to be the first term of your quotient. Then what you do is you set up now your subtraction thingamajig, which is the technical name of it, of course. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this 12x, and you're going to multiply it by now the first term of your denominator basically, that's also known as the uh, divisor, and it's going to be 24x squared. If you did this correctly, your 12x times that outside term should be exactly the same as this. And then you're going to take the 12x and you're going to multiply it by this term, 1. So 12x times 1 is just 12x, all right? Now you're going to add them together, all right? So you add these two together, but overall you're going to subtract it from the other term underneath that uh, long division symbol. So what I like to do is I just like to distribute that negative sign now to each, okay? So what happened to the x? There's the x, all right? So both of these are going to become negative, basically. And just perform the math now. So this would cancel out. Bam, see you later. And then this is going to be negative 6x, okay? Now what you're going to do is if this term of x is higher than or equal to, in other words, the power, if it's higher than or equal to, uh, the power of x in your divisor, then you're going to continue the process. You're just going to now take this, okay, that's the only term that's left, negative 6x, and you're going to divide it by the highest power of x there, which is a 2x, and you just perform the division. So this should work out to be a negative 3. So that's what you're going to plug in here, negative 3, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to set up your little subtraction thingamajig, all right? And you're going to take this negative 3, multiply it by the 2x, so that should be a negative 6x. And if you did this correctly, it should exactly match that. And then you're going to take the negative 3, multiply it by the positive 1, and that's going to be a negative 3. Now, we could technically stop the process here, but I'm just going to continue it. So we're going to distribute the negative to each of those terms. And basically, the double negatives become positives, right? And that's kind of a good rule for life. You want to turn the negative into the positive. And what's going to happen here is that this will cancel if done properly. That should always happen. And 3 is basically the remainder. All right, so if you had to finish out this function up here, the quotient, you would then write plus your remainder of 3 divided then by the 2x plus 1. Now, it turns out that when we're finding the slant asymptote, I don't care about the remainder. Doesn't matter. What I'm focusing on is the term that is not the remainder or the meat of this division, the 12x minus 3. And guess what? This is the slant asymptote. And that's it. Okay, that's all there is. So we can always check it with the calculator too, watch. So plot your function up here, 12x squared, uh, 12, what? 24, 24x squared. Uh, and eh, I should have put that, put that in parentheses. So 24x squared, 24x squared, plus then your 6x. Close the parentheses, then divide it by the whole denominator. Open the parentheses again, 2x plus one. Close them up, hit, hit graph. Okay, so that's kind of the function, a little funky. All right, maybe I should zoom out a little bit. I don't know. It's a little weird. Uh, let's zoom out. Three. Okay, so 
uh, um, I'll adjust the window a little bit. So we don't need, ne this can go from negative 10 to 10, the X. You don't have to go crazy here. But that's a little better, right? So now what I'm going to do, okay, so that's the original function in blue. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph, and this will come up in red now. I'm going to graph my slant asymptote of 12X minus 3. And let's see what happens. Boom. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? Right? There's a slant asymptote. Look at how it just approaches this slant. It's a beautiful thing. Everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. We really, truly want to help you through your course. And we've dedicated a whole YouTube channel to doing just that. We have thousands of videos out there that can help you practice real problems with real solutions explained by real people. Reminds, <laughs> kind of reminds me of a Papa John's kind of commercial. What is it? Real, real ingredients? Real pizza? Papa John's? I don't know. What do they say? I don't know. I'm kind of hungry now. Um, anyway, we want to be the Papa John's of tutoring. So check us out. And always check the descriptions below because we're going to leave goodies along the way. See you soon.